YouTube. What's up, y'all? My name is Joan. Coming back at y'all with another video, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys the fastest and easiest way to blow dry your hair. And not only that, I'm gonna be showing you guys two safe methods that you can use so you don't have to worry about heat damage or none of that. Alright? And if you thought I was finished, I'm not, because I'm also gonna show you how to hit the like button on this video. Yeah. You thought stuff was sweet, huh? And it's always you, dude. Like, hit the like button and stop playing with me. And also, y'all see what it is, bruh. Like, your boy moved into his new crib. Oh, yeah. Things different now, okay? Fellas, y'all refer to me as Mr. Games, all right? And ladies, y'all just call me daddy. <laughs> but yeah, now since I got the crib, the video should be coming out more consistently. Hopefully. And also, thank you for 100K. I love all you guys. But anyways, I'm rambling. Let's go ahead and get started with the video. Let's get it. All right, starting off, look, bruh, I hate to be the bear bad news, but as your brother, I'm going to give it to you straight, bruh. You got to wash your hair, dude. There is no way around it. But, I mean, lucky for you, I got a full wash day routine video that shows you step by step on how to make your wash days a lot easier. The link is above to check it out if you haven't already. After I finish washing my hair, I section my hair in four sections on each side just because it's easier to manage and you get more of a stretch. But if you want to act like, oh, I don't got no time for this, then you can speed up the process by doing bigger sections it's really up to you bro next i use the shea moisture miracle styler leave-in treatment i suggest using lightweight leave-ins when doing blowouts just to make sure your hair isn't weighed down as you can see i'm using a little heat amount of product a little really goes a long way when doing this trust me personally i like using this leave-in because it's so versatile it just does a whole bunch of stuff it detangles nourishes adds shine reduces frizz cooks for me makes my bed every day like this thing don't got no weaknesses dude the real question is what can't this thing do but the main reason why i'm using this is because it could be used as a heat protectant and to give my hair some moisture now to be on the safe side i also use an actual heat protectant today i'm using the cheese silk infusion all right look she short now but she got curves in all the right places if you feel what i'm saying so again you only want to use a little bit but yeah man this heat protectant is a dime piece bro like the type to bring home to your mama fam like the heat damage ain't even going to want to mess with your hair bro because it's going to be too distracted by this baddie over here bird too b she valid once i finish applying the two products throughout my hair i comb through my hair using a wide tooth comb just to ensure that my hair is well detangled before going on to the next step i then split my hair in two to make it easier for the blow drying process all right to do a blowout i put my y2 comb attachment on my dyson blow dryer and blow dry my hair using my dyson blow dryer also i really can't forget to mention i got a dyson blow dryer <laughs> i start on the cool setting and then work my way up and the absolute highest setting i'll probably go to is the medium setting but usually the low setting gets the job done when i'm finished with the section i add some argan oil just to add some shine and lock in that moisture then i lightly twist the section back up and continue the process throughout my hair now i know not everyone has a comb attachment with their blow dryer so if that's you <laughs> are you serious hey yo bro come here man yo what's good bro look at this dude he don't even got a wide tooth comb attachment for his blow dryer dude lame bro oh god bro oh god hey dude if you don't want to get bullied i suggest you just go get one bro it's not that expensive it just costs a few dollars and it will make your life a lot easier but if you really just can't get one right now your best bet is to do the tension method do this method start by pulling the section of hair to add tension and then aim your blow dryer directly at your roots and then gradually bring the blow dryer down the section of hair and just keep pulling until the section has dried halfway through and then next you're going to want to use a detangling tool today i'm going to use a dimming brush and use this to get all the knots and tangles out and to get the maximum stretch out of your hair this method does take longer it's a lot more effort and your hair won't come out as straight also your arms will be on fire like your neck muscles will look stupid just forget going to the gym this is the only workout you need bro so i definitely recommend you getting a wide tooth comb attachment for your blow dryer to make your life a lot easier if you don't got the money, then get your weight up then, little Igga. Dang, I don't got no time to play with y'all. Like, I'm getting into a bag, bro. Like, what you talking about? Now, I really do be getting a lot of questions about my blow dryer, but let me tell y'all something. Y'all do not need this blow dryer. This blow dryer is stupid expensive, but it is a very good investment for those of you who are really serious about your hair and who have been looking to buy it and can't afford it, mainly because it has technology specifically designed to prevent heat damage. Like, this thing got a whole process in it that regulates temperatures 20 times 
per second. What blow dryer you know got a processor in it? This thing is a whole computer system. And this ain't even sponsored, bruh. So if you trying to cop, then do your thing then, G. Just make sure you hit that link below. You know, help a brother out, you feel me? But in all seriousness, for majority of y'all, this blow dryer is overboard. You really do not need it. A regular $20, $30 blow dryer would do just fine, bruh. When I'm finished, bam! As you can see, my hair has everything you look for in a good blowout. It's long, super shiny, soft, lightweight, and full of life. I just showed y'all how to get a bomb blowout in the most safest, healthiest way possible. If you ain't hit that like button yet, I'ma need you to do that, my guy, because this is A1 status right here. Also, I know y'all see the length, man. Like, yo, that thing is going stupid. And it's honestly crazy because at the end of this month, I'ma be at three years, bro three years like time really be flying dude like i can't even keep up but yeah man at this point you can get braids corn rolls box twists by the way make sure you check out my box twist tutorial if you haven't seen it already you can also trim your hair which is something i really gotta do so if you guys want me to film how i trim my hair leave a comment below and you know i got y'all but thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end make sure you leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys later peace